So this is the Eastern Regional, the US AeroPress Championship 2015. It's a bracket style tournament in which baristas are throwing down against each other, producing the best cup of coffee with an AeroPress they can in eight minutes. There's three judges, they have cupping spoons, they're tasting each coffee, they do it with their professionals, they've all got great palates, and they're picking the one they think is best. Often the focus is more on the coffee that's being used. This device really rewards people who have a clever way of using the device. So the AeroPress is great because you can do almost anything with it. You can do a one minute brew, you can do a five minute brew. All of, everything is basically based on your steep time, your grind size, stuff like that. So you can really do crazy stuff with an AeroPress that you won't think will work that ends up tasting great. It's really just anybody's game. It's a blind tasting, so you don't know who brewed what coffee, so the judges are completely in the dark, which is kind of fun. So yeah, my name's Jay Keywood. I work for Vent Coffee here in Louisville, and I use a uh, natural processed Ethiopia Sadamu. Um, my approach, I use a really fine grind, um, and I use an inverted method, um, but a lower temperature to kind of keep the astringency and the brightness out, and to really make a, it has a really nice dark chocolate and very um, swirl to it, I guess. And I think the lower temperature with the fine grind kind of brought that out nicely. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to take part. This is my first ever competition in like this, so I had a blast. So I used Ruby Coffee's uh, Kenya Gachapa, I believe that's what it's called, and um, I have a recipe that's a little unconventional. I used about, uh, it's 18.5 grams of coffee. Uh, I poured 80 grams of water over that at 107 degrees, and I let that sit for two minutes and 45 seconds. And I kind of let a lot of that low end kind of build up, and then um, after that, I flipped it over and I poured 150 grams of 200 degree water on there. I like the approach that the temperature comes down to. Um, and then, yeah, plunge it out. It gets a lot of the highs because of the quick blast of hot air, or the hot water, and then uh, also not a lot of lows, and it kind of bypasses a lot of murky mid. Okay, so I'm Dimitri uh, from Williamsburg, Virginia, and I uh, use the Madcap Barana coffee, which is an Ethiopian coffee. My approach was to use the non-inverted method, and instead of uh, covering the top, I let the uh, coffee drip through for about three minutes. So it slowly dripped through the AeroPress before I finally pressed it all down. I'm Chris Heinegger, and today in the Eastern Regional AeroPress competition, I used an Ethiopia Kocheri Zone Gadio. This coffee I bought from Sweet Maria's, and I roasted myself on my hot top. Um, I used a super light roast. Um, I dropped it at 401 degrees, which is on the very bottom end of what a lot of people would consider to be fully roasted. My brew used a nine and a half to one ratio, 22 grams of coffee, 200 milliliters, and a long steep at two minutes and 45 seconds. Third place. All the way from Toledo, Ohio, Brian Bikey. You know, the AeroPress has a cult following. It's such a fascinating device. What I love about it is, you know, Alan Adler invented it because he just wanted to make a single cup of coffee for himself. But his original recipe, how he originally designed it to be used, actually very few baristas end up using it that way. The best thing about the AeroPress is that it's so functional, so flexible, 
really the sky's the limit for what the barista can do with this brewing device and that's what this competition proved. You know, I think the best thing about the AeroPress competition, it's not that it's not serious. All of these competitors worked hard, they prepared carefully. All of them did extensive home brewing sessions, practice sessions, trying to figure out what the best cup of coffee they could make was. With that being said, there's a real sense of camaraderie with this competition. And you're seeing baristas from all over the coast hang out together. They're chatting, they're swapping coffees, they're getting to know each other. And really that's what this competition is all about.